Going to a, a guy who has uh, both small and big school experience on his resume, we welcome in Coach Danny Mitchell. Coach Mitchell, congratulations on the gig. Thank you so much, Paul. I, I really appreciate it. And those two coaches uh, were my coaches, too. So I know I've got some big shoes to fill, but I'm, I'm really excited to go back to my alma mater. Yeah, you're going back, and now your name is on the door. Uh, describe that feeling, because you, you have two titles, two significant titles. Talk about that a little bit. Right. Um, well, it's a little bit surreal. I grew up there. Uh, my dad has been coaching at Christian for 26 years, so I, I basically grew up on that campus. So I, since I was five years old, I was there. Um, you know, I, I feel so fortunate to, to hold not only the, the head football coach title and, and, and get to follow in Coach Oliver's footsteps, but the athletic director title uh, just to – because I, I experienced the, the – the holistic uh, position of of being at, at Christian. You know, I played football, baseball, and basketball there, and and I know what that place has to offer, and, and it's such a special place, and I'm really excited to kind of give back and, and hopefully grow it into something pretty special. You, you, you bring up your dad. Uh, guys, I'm jumping ahead a little bit here. Uh, Christian and your former employer, Bishops, you had quite the rivalry. I take you back to 2016. I think we have highlights from that get-together down at Southwestern College. Your, yeah. your dad now, instead of being foe, is going to be on your staff, correct? Yeah, you know what? He retired after that game. Um, and, and actually, you know, that probably sounds pretty bad that he retired after we played against each other. But uh, he, he actually retired to come and watch uh, myself coach during the fall. And my brother coaches Got with it. him in the spring. And so I'm... I'm going to have the opportunity to hopefully bring him back on staff. But, uh, you know, I think that was such a, a, a great time at Bishops. And I got to learn, again, that, that athletic director title. Uh, I, I'm very fortunate to hold that. But I, I believe I learned under one of the best with Joel Allen and, and, and getting to learn under Ron Gladnick as a head coach those last five months. Hey, uh, I, I really believe I'm prepared. Danny, let's talk about one of the hot issues that's going on in high school football right now. Do you feel like private schools have a, a competitive advantage in that the bound, they're not obligated to stay within the bound, their boundaries? They can get kids from elsewhere? You know, I think that's a, that's a question. Um, I, I think it's so unique in this time right now. Uh, I, I don't believe it, it's it's private versus public. I really don't at all. I do think that the, the, the issue right now at hand is, are we going to have an ability to go back to school safely? Um, and I think that's the number one priority. So I, I don't think there's an advantage on either side because, you know, there's there's public schools that have the ability right now to, to be out practicing, you know, at, at, at private schools right now. There's private schools that aren't allowed to, to be practicing and, and, and doing things uh, athletically or, or anything involving uh, being on campus. So I don't think there's an advantage. I just think it's a very unique time. Uh, and it's, I think it's a case by case uh, 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 issue in, in my opinion. At Bishops, you found yourself playing at, at D2. You, know, you had Tyler Buckner and you, you, you were competitive at D2. Uh, Christian seems to be just content to pile up the D3 titles. Will that philosophy change with you on campus now? Well, you know, Christian is now in Division II, um, and, and, you know, I, I don't think as, as much as I aspire uh, for our football program to go as high as possible and compete at the highest level as possible, our goal isn't that in football or in any sport. Uh, our goal is for, for our students to have the best experience as, as possible. And, and if that is getting to compete at a high level, you know, we have a small enrollment, anywhere from 350 to 450 students. And, uh, and it is absolutely our goal to be as competitive as possible. You know, watching my, my dad's baseball team compete in the open division a couple of years ago, our women's basketball team with, with coach Carrington doing a phenomenal job of taking them being a division one program, our, our basketball, our boys basketball program last year playing in the open division. So that is absolutely a, a target, but I wouldn't say it's a goal. I would say it's our goal is for our students to have an, a, a, an incredible experience and, and hopefully uh, that, that helps them in their future. Danny, congratulations on the gig. We will, uh, we will be talking as the, the weeks and months go by as we get ready to play for real, okay? Well, I'm really excited, and I really appreciate you having me on. And, and you know, you guys are always welcome on the sideline, too. We'd love to see you. Well, that's, uh, that's an offer we will take you up on, sir. <laughs> Danny Mitchell, the new head coach at Christian High School. After